Dooby dooby doo, doob dooby doo me, doob doob dooby dee. Oh, what a beautiful lady. <laughs> Who is standing in front of me? I am Sarah Rayani. Good. Sarah, could you do me a favor? You had such a great voice. Thank you. Uh, could you talk a little louder? Of course. <laughs> Uh, Sarah, it was really good to see you on stage. Thank you. Actually, you are one of the few Doobie Doobie Doo uh, contributors uh, uh, being interviewed in a situation like this. So, uh, congratulations. Thank you. And we are proud of you Thank representing you. indirectly Doobie Doobie Doo on stage. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, just tell me. Um, as you said on stage, it's a really multinational band. Yes. I know you're from Sweden. I'm, well, I'm originally from England. My mom is from Sweden. My dad is Indian. But yes, and then, so the band is, we have uh, one player who is born in Greece, but is Japanese and American. And we have one Japanese. The keyboard player, right? No, the, the keyboard player is from Japan oh, entirely. Okay. The bass player is, uh, has lived many years there. Um, and then we have Harlem, Queens, Washington, D.C., and then me, which is three countries in one. <laughs> well, looks like my band. Good. <laughs> I think it's nice. I like and um, so, um, because Brooklyn is really an independent festival, so... Absolutely. So you are totally independent, right? Yes, we're really independent, which is so hard, but so wonderful at the same time. And how does it feel to, to perform here in Brooklyn? Great. I love Brooklyn. I think that uh, it's one of the places that people, they've come just for music, to hear new music. They're, it doesn't need to be a band that they hear on the radio every day. It doesn't need to be something they've even heard before. They're coming to hear new music, and that's so fantastic. That's what it's all about, I think. Listening to your music, it's really eclectic. You've got uh, even some blues. Yes. You've got some Latin. You've got some chill out, mm -hmm. club. Um, and your voice is uh, higher than your the voice uh, I hear now, right? <laughs> you sing a little higher. Is it? Um, um, are you singing th uh, this kind? How would you call it? The sweet. Um, how would you describe your voice? My voice. Help um, me out. Uh, ooh, uh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever described it before. I mean, yes, I have, when I sing operatically, I'm a soprano, so I have a high voice. Um, but when I'm singing, I sing jazz. <sighs> it's a really hard question. My voice is, yeah, it's high and it's sort of soft and trebly and, yeah. Did you take uh, any voice? Classes? I, yeah, I've sung, I sang operatically when I was a teenager, and so I was training then. And oh. then um, in the last few years, I, I've been doing jazz, and so I sing with a couple of different jazz. I heard, uh, or you told me, not I heard, you told me that you are also a dancer, a belly dancer. Yes. Um, how come? How come? Well... To lose weight? It's <laughs> You're all right? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I, well, you know, as, as I and you and all of us now it's really hard to make it make money as a musician as a singer so one of the things that I always did growing up was dance um, I did ballet and jazz and hip-hop uh, and I needed to make money and people were willing to pay me to teach them to dance and then I fell into belly dance really um, and then I did I was in a movie belly dancing and so then I got a few more students and it's something that I do you know to support myself a little bit but my real passion is singing. And uh, uh, you um, have a little Indian in yourself, right? That's Are you aware of your Indian uh, ancestors or culture? Yes, I have a lot of Indian. I have 50% of me is Indian. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're Gujarati. And uh, my dad's family actually immigrated from East, or India to East Africa. and they Which part of India? Gujarat. Where is it? In the north or south? North. Oh, okay. It's northwest India. Um, and my dad was born in Kenya. And so we, you know, but he lived in a big Indian community. So I very much have my Indian roots all around me, always. <laughs> Can you speak the Indian like English they do, like in New York? This, uh, um, 
I can't imitate Like, do it. the accent? Yes. No. No. I don't like when other people do the accent, too. I think it's <laughs> not very nice. But, um, no, I speak Swedish, but I don't speak any Hindi or Gujarati. I can understand a little bit. Mm-hmm. But don't make me say anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, regarding the music, you are writing them? Yes. Yourself? Yeah. So all the songs are... Uh, listen to all your songs yeah. and except, except the, last the one. cover at the yes, end the last yeah. one. good okay so um, how do you feel about um, tomorrow the day after tomorrow in New York what's going to happen it with me yes um, well hopefully someone will listen will love me will love the band and will sign us and we'll still be independent ish <laughs> but we'll have a little bit of support um, I would love to to have an indie label find us and we would be able to still make the kind of music that we love and that we feel that have a Why little bit. Why don't you try it yourself? Make your CD, manufacture your CD, yes. put it out on your own label. Yes, well, Can and all a matter of money and resources. So, if you want to hear a Sariani album <laughs> <laughs> and you happen to have lots of money <laughs> that's lying around and you want to invest, me. <laughs> okay. But you know it's hard to yes. be on a label. That's yes. the reason why many choose not to yeah. self produce yeah. their own things. Good Sarah. Very good. Is there anything you like to know or ask before I switch off? Um no, I'd just like to say thank you so much to Doobie Doobie Doo for coming to support me and sure. it was wonderful to have you guys there. Okay. I appreciate it. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. And see you soon. See you. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.